Right everyone, welcome to Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 and today we are using On Air Company and we're in a little airport here, we've just rented a Cessna caravan and to be able to fly this on missions we've got to do a check ride with an instructor so that is what we're going to be doing today so right, let's get this thing started I've not really flown this much so I think we'll do a bit of a checklist here fuel selector both on both on Igniters to norm. Please start the engine. Um, engine igniters. It's on norm. Power level idle. Prop level max RPM. Start engine. Battery switch on. Put the beacon on. Avionics switch number one. Fuel boost is on. Please start it start on and that should be the engine starting here taxi to the runway and take off there we go so we're going to be hand flying today we're not going to be using any autopilot because the instructor is going to give us directions on what we're meant to be doing so this is a bit going to be hard at night because obviously the plug-in makes it the real time and obviously at night time um, this runway has not got no light, night lighting so we're going to have to use this display this is probably not allowed loud and going through every regulation um, but if you like brightness we'll turn that down a little bit we'll get our, our light on we can just on one one notch there we go that's it right and then what is it low idle start it off fuel boost norm if you only switch two We'll get our lights on, get our taxi light on, and that should be everything ready to go. Put that outside, there we go, nicely done. And we'll start our taxi, we will just zoom in on the map here, so we'll know where we're going, we'll taxi down the runway and then backtrack to take off on this runway here which I believe is runway 7 so we'll uh, get some fuel in some throttle in sorry uh, we'll go for some flaps today just a little bit of flaps we'll also get our landing light on since we're on the runway technically I mean this is a bush plane so it can go on the grass, don't worry about that. I've just got a taxi down the grass, but we might as well stick on the runway since there's no traffic coming. Get rid of that checklist, we don't need that. We'll just go down quite a way and then we'll turn back. Cut that throttle out. See, like this is the only light that we have on this runway. And it's not even right lights, it's taxi lights. It's taxi, um, taxi signs. So I don't think this is an even in use runway, but um, this is the one it tells us to take off from. I believe, isn't it? I don't think it is actually, I think we're actually meant to be taken off from the one way down there. So we'll go into the grass here. 
Yeah, I think this is actually runway 7 down here. So we'll use this runway to take off. Right, so we'll announce we are departing in Patton. Echo Golf Hotel, Whiskey Traffic, Robert Tree, to O &E, taking off runway 7 left, touch and go. I'm not doing a touch and go, but never mind. Right, now let's introduce some power. Yeah, it looks like a clear night. It is. It should be live weather. Should have live weather on. Yep, yeah, it should be live weather. So it's looking like it's a clear night. I'll zoom out of the map here. Three zero zero. More than ninety knots. So we'll raise the flaps. This in our heading indicator. Did I say turn right heading though? We'll turn, we'll turn left. I'm sure she said turn right, but um, it's not very logical, so we'll turn left. Oops. Getting some trim in here, so I'm not holding back on the on the stick. So yeah, our air, the airport we took off from literally has no lighting whatsoever. I imagine it would in real life, but um, obviously hasn't been picked up on here. I'm not sure if it's in use anymore. This is where I've rented the plane from, so I had to do the check flight here, fortunately. Anyway, it is looking good though. We've got some aileron trim in here. Ooh, that is a lot. No, we'll not do that because that is a lot. So we'll just climb to four, five, hundred. Four thousand five hundred. Look at that gorgeous night sky. Illuminating the land below. Somehow. Right, we're coming up on our, our height here. I believe, I believe this is random every time because I got 10,000 last time when I was trying this. So this is just to kind of certify whether or not you can fly this plane. Which I did struggle with when I tried it the first time. I did land it first time and I hit a tree so obviously it failed so I've got to redo it that's why I'm doing it as a video 
zero and climb. Six five hundred. At least there's no cloud added. Um, I don't think this live weather is correct at the moment. I'm not sure if I. Oh. Resume this. There we go. See how it updates everything normal? The flight is resumed. Right, okay. That's good. I did not think that's what would put the time back. <laughs> oh well. Maybe it sets the weather up as well, I'm not sure. I'm hoping it's going to keep everything correct here. The way it was before, I've ruined it. Should be, should just resume. I'm, I'm thinking, yeah, it has just resumed, so that's good. We'll get back on our heading. There we go. Yeah, our instructor should be able to tell us that we can fly this now, after this. Why couldn't I have done it in this airport where it was, um, it's got actual landing lights? Had to rent a plane from an airport with no lights, didn't I? At night. Pitch up a little bit to get up to that heading quicker. That altitude, sorry. Not heading. Cool view nonetheless tonight. Maintain this. Right off the throttle a bit so we're not maxing RPM. speed we're going to maintain the altitude so we're going to trim for speed change but a 
get some flaps in so we don't start stalling. up a bit so we'll drop speed faster we're going to be on the verge of um, stalling here as well please maintain 70 knots or less you are currently at 74 knots yeah no i know now maintain this speed and 8500 feet and make a 360 standard turn to the right make a turn to the right don't want to turn too sharp because it will stall if we drop all the lift from the wings so we want to take our time here monitor the speed, monitor our altitude try not to bank too hard As soon as we start banking too much, then we're going to drop. Oh, we're losing our height, we're losing our altitude, we want to keep that altitude. instructor Please return to 8500 Oh, return of the Look at that speed going We want to stall out here Five hundred, a little bit more. There we go. Go to heading one one zero. Maintain seventy knots or less. One zero. Oops. Resume to normal speed. Turn right. Resume normal speed, climb to 9000, turn rate 150. No 
on the speed. Get our trim set up because our trim's all wrong now. For normal flight. There we go. Right, three five zero, just enter seven thousand. Trim down. Drop that throttle. This has got to be the last few um, things now. We're coming up to 7,000. Let's bring the nose back up. The power. Come on, three five zero. There we go. Right. Return to our airport, and um, we'll use our VFR map here. We'll find the key. Right, so the sim did crash when I opened the VFR map, so I've had to do the, the whole flight again. And I've gotten to the same point where we're just heading back to home base now. But, as you can see, the live weather did update this time, so now we are flying through heavy rain and very little visibility. If I turn my taxi lights on here, you can see we're still in the kind of cloud layer and we're only at 2,000 feet. I've kind of just stuck the autopilot on because um, we'll get some more throttle up. I don't know why I've throttled off so much. I've got the autopilot on just to get us back. So I had to do the whole flight again where I had to go to a certain height, drop the speed back to 70 knots and then do all that stuff again. It's nice to see some rain rain effects on the windows here, look. You can kind of see it. There's not a lot going on. I think it's just because it's so dark you can't really tell that there's rain on the windows. But yeah, we're not far from here. Echo Golf Hotel Whiskey. It's our destination. It's where we came from. It's where we're renting this plane from currently for our business. Hopefully we'll be certified to fly this after our instructors give us the, the go ahead after this flight. The only thing is to get this done quickly I um, start on the runway and that gives a bad warning because I'd not put the beacon on before turning the engine on. So yeah that was kind of annoying. What are you trying to do? Leaving approach roll bear tree to one two thousand feet. Roll bear tree to any leaving approach continuous plan. Altimeter two nine 
don't know what you're trying to do there, but um, that is not what I was wanting. It's a turn to the left slightly. And we'll zoom in on the map here. As you can see, we're just flying straight into this runway here. But we're going to have to really use this screen because there's little to no visibility and no landing lights. So, you know, just makes our life even harder. Where is the airport on here? I think this is it. That's the right airport, yeah. Right, so we will start dropping our speed. Get some flaps in. Approach, feet. There's, there's the Robert airport on there. So we're going to have to watch this um, screen a lot. We'll, uh, drop them full flaps. Let autopilot trim us out and then we'll take over on the stick. Close that now, turn off all pilot, thank you. Thanks for the hard work. Yeah, we'll leave our taxi light on just so we've got some more visibility as soon as we touch the ground. Because obviously without any landing lighting or airport lighting, it's going to be a struggle to see where we're going. Visibility is bad enough as it is without turning the taxi light off. Let's drop that speed. Drop our altitude as well. So yeah, we've got to rely on this green entirely because there is no runway lights. This is going against lots of violations, but never mind. <laughs> as long as we get it down safely. This is not good flying conditions. Is it actually better without the taxi light on? No. Still can't see anything. Bring that speed down a little bit more. Should start to see the runway. We'll go into a bit of a higher up view here. Get our lights on the runway. Brakes, 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 brakes. There we go. We can see the rain on the windscreen as well, properly now. Right, and this kind of is a taxiway, it's telling us. So we'll turn off here. Turn our landing lights off. We don't need them, we just need our taxi lights. I guess we'll just follow this path and see where it leads us. I'll go back into that higher up view actually so I can see where I'm going. Yeah, we can't really see far ahead, can we? Not 
sure where this takes us. Stay on it. Just takes us to the runway. I think we'll just shut down here because I've no idea where we're meant to be going. Go off onto the grass here. And then we'll shut it down. Shut down the engine. Shut down the engine, okay. Engine off time locked. End of flight. Registered in on air company. Thank you. You passed your practical exam. Five out of five exercises succeeded. Awesome, so we've passed. That is good. Now if we go to on air. I'll show you what it says on there. Right, so on air it's come up with this. Times your condition change. Minus seven percent point seven percent. So we've done our check ride, which means we've passed the exam. Here we go. Here's our flight. That's awesome. That's awesome to see, isn't it? What's these? Position reports. There we go. So if we go back to that, okay. We should now be able to do some cargo flight. Now we've passed the exam. That is awesome. If we go back to the dashboard here. Cool, we'll get that done. So if you did enjoy this, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Do leave a like and subscribe.